Hi, my name is Hazem. Today we're going to be learning about the IQ4 panel. It's a Power G IQ4. It combines the best of both worlds. So it's a QL assess or all assess. I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is a wireless panel. It retails for about $500 and you got a camera built in and you got a cellular modem built in and alarm.com built in. So really, and Wi-Fi and Power G and 315 megahertz but you can also get a whole bunch of other um, uh, frequencies now recently they've added this antenna this didn't I didn't see this antenna on previous models um, so the first thing you want to do when you get out of the box is connect the battery so you take you know, take this back cover off so this is the mounting plate for the wall now you want to be very careful not to break this tab because this tab, um, this tab, is the um, it's a tamper. So if you break this, your tamper will never ever work. Now, in here, we've got a terminal block, so you can hardwire this, or you can plug it in with the DC power jack that we have. So you shove this battery in here and honestly this is like the hardest part. Now this is not going to turn on until you plug it in. So so I plugged it in. Uh, oh, I'm going to use a different receptacle here. So this will turn on now. Now it's a good idea to have all your sensors and alarm horns and whatever you're planning to connect here with you if they're wireless because you can program each one when this turns on. So now in the alarm.com app for an installer we just find the IMEI number and register that which I've already done so that literally setting up the customer account takes like five minutes to do five to ten minutes depending on options now sometimes a lot of times i want to if i want to hardwire this to the in a wall there's already a cable what i can do is i just cut this off and strip it add a dolphin connector to the like uh 18 2 wire and then down in the basement or wherever i just uh connect the power brick or however you want to do it so now it's already ready so it's going to search for the wi-fi here we're going to skip the wi-fi for now but you actually you want to have wi-fi because um i forgot which wi-fi i am on am i on talus or am i on shaw i'm on I'm on Shaw. I don't remember. I just use my phone so much these days. Anyway, you absolutely you want to connect your Wi-Fi though, because that way if the cell network fails, you've got a backup. So it's going to do a test here and it's going to be angry. Okay, so I've connected to my Wi-Fi and now it's going to do a dual path Wi-Fi test. So it's automatically gonna activate the sim card and the power and whatever so we've got AC power connected battery connected Z-Wave connected so if you've got Z-Wave devices power G now if you don't have power in installed you're going to have so we've got Talos signal so now it's automatically, I've already set this up online, so it's just going to download everything. So it's download everything, and then we just add our sensors. So there's two ways to do this. One is you can scan the QR code. So you go scan QR code, and the camera opens, and then... See if this works.
So that's all you gotta do. So then I can leave this in the box so it doesn't get lost. So you can write down what this says. So it automatically told us it's got the sensor ID and figure out the sensor type and then it picked front door. So now here's what you want to think about. There's only really there's a whole bunch of pre-labeled uh, stuff. You can add a gun cabinet, chair, bed, safety. So you can have motion sensors, glass break sensors, um, motion door window contact. Now you don't need a glass break sensor near this panel because the panel's got one built in. But you can have, you should have, you should have a door contact on every door in your house, every exterior door. Um, you should have a door or window contact on any window in your house that is on the main floor that somebody could get into or the upper deck. And then anywhere you've got a glass, you should have a glass break sensor. And then anywhere that you've got a door contact as a backup, you should have a motion sensor because sometimes a door contacts fail. Now, you'll see here on sensor group, you've got entry, exit, normal delay. So if this is a front door, then you have, when you, when you open the door to get in, you have 30 or 60 seconds of time until you can disarm the alarm before it goes into alarm, which is good. But if you've got a, a window, let's say, people don't normally enter the house through the window, then you want to set that to instant perimeter, which means that the alarm will activate instantly because if somebody's opening your window and coming inside then you've got a problem that's a that's a that means that somebody has opened the window so so you don't want to do that now uh, be careful here now the other thing that we want to do so um now it's really important that we set these parameters because the this alarm system can be armed in two ways, as you will see. One is away mode, and one is home mode. So in away mode, all of your sensors are live. So if I were to open the front door, I would have 30 seconds to disarm the alarm. If I were to, uh, if it sensed motion at the front door, that's the same thing. So this would be entry, exit, motion let's say but if i were to open the window it would or there's a glass break that will go into alarm automatically now in home mode you can say i'm afraid of a home invasion this will arm just the perimeter sensors so doors and windows and it will not arm interior motion so if you're walking around in your house there's not going to be an alarm no matter what but if somebody were to open the door while you're inside, then you get an instant alarm. So, so that's good. So we can save the sensor, and we can go. Sensor added successfully. We can go scan QR code. Gonna add another sensor here. Takes a second. Okay, so I'm gonna say. This is my back door. And I'm going to save that. Sensor added successfully. Now I can do this a different way. This is going to be my garage door. So I'm going to do garage door. So I can do this another way I'm going to show you. So what's inside here really is just door contact. So this one's got a magnet in it. And this one's got a magnet and a battery and an antenna. It's supposed to last like five years. So to activate this you want to pull 
this little like this le this little thing out and that charges the battery so now to trigger this literally all you have to do is you you see there's this line here you want to line this up with this and I already did it by accident but basically if you line if you line up these two caps these two lines this line with this line that's on the two and then move them apart it will pick up the, um, the sensor so I did so I'm just gonna do um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna a custom description here and I'm gonna do Mandor I'll do a check a mark here. Sensor added successfully. Okay, so I'm gonna do the last one. Now you can't do this twice. And I'm gonna do a custom, I'm gonna do man door. Interior. Safe. All right. So we've added our sensors. Sensor added successfully. So when you're done, you just go next, and then now, now the Mandor one I've already set up. So it's it's got a good signal, strong signal, because it's right here. The rest of them don't. But now you can enable the glass break, enable which is break added highly recommended. Now if you got any Z-Wave devices, you can add those same way. Then you can skip that. You can also pair your smartphone, so you can disarm this. Now, if you've got a secondary touch screen, you just got to turn it on, and then you just pair it the same way. And then you can add users. So right now, there's the default users, which is admin, do res, installer. I can add a user. I can go mama. And I'm going to put a user code. So I'm not telling you where user code, but you can put a user code. Can I? Nope, it already exists because I used one, two, three, four. So I can just throw this out. Anyways, now the dealer will. You can if you're the dealer, you can add the dealer. So it'll be H S M G. So seven eight zero six two eight one eight one six. You can save that, and then you know, check for updates. Tick tick tick. So there's no update. And then you want to download the mobile app. Okay, now your panel is ready to use. But you will see here all the errors. So the errors are, which are my sensors are. Uh, so exclamation mark means that the sensor is offline. The, the circle means that the, the sensor is... So active means we've got a problem, right? So all tells us, okay. So all tells us that the yeah. um, uh, that the sensor is open or closed. So a circle means it's closed. So in this case, this is closed. If I took this away, Mandor you can open. see the man door changes to open. So if you have any questions, please post a comment. Thank you.